So my next guest has dressed Taylor Swift, Michelle Obama, and Mindy Kaling, to name a few. And now she's been named International Designer of the Year by the Canadian Arts and Fashion Awards. Please welcome Tanya Taylor. Congratulations. How does that title feel, Tanya? Well, thank you for having me. It feels incredible. I have been going to CAFA for years. I grew up in Toronto, and it just feels so exciting to celebrate the arts in Canada and be able to kind of come back and celebrate. Yeah, Tanya and I were just reminiscing that we cannot wait until we can actually be all in the same room together and look at the beautiful fashion uh, and just have a good time. You know, with everything that's going on globally right now, tell me why it's important to support and recognize our local fashion talent. Well, yeah, I think it's been such a challenging year for arts because it's not been the priority for everyone's focus. And to be able to take a moment and just celebrate arts and celebrate local arts, it's so meaningful to cultivate that incredible local talent that will eventually maybe be able to become international talent and then come home and bring all that learning and experience back to Canada. Um, you know, I started at McGill University, and I remember my first opportunity was being able to design a fashion show for McGill University. I didn't know how to sew. I didn't know how to do anything, but I begged to have an opportunity. And it was so cool that, you know, at home, I learned a little bit of my skills. Then I moved to New York and went to Parsons and kind of continue to develop those. I think that's a lovely thing. We have the same alma mater, and I think it's great that, oh. yeah, you were sparked. You know, that whole spirit was sparked there, and that's where I got the bug for broadcast. So very cool. Now, here's something I love about your label. I love the, the colorfulness. I love the boldness. I love the size inclusivity. You know, I feel like it's exactly what the world needs right now. So take us through some of the beautiful pieces that you've got for the season. Yeah, so size inclusivity has been a core value of ours for four years. Um, you know, I started the brand eight years ago, and I really just learned how to make it feel like it was approachable to all different kinds of body types. And that's been so important to me. I think growing up, I saw my mom was a size 16, 18, and she didn't really have the clothes to feel like as expressive or empowered as I wanted her to be. Um, so for the summer collection, which we're showing you, Oh, our first look is the Savannah dress and summer is our time to shine. We love, you know, clothing that feels really expressive, really happy, optimistic. I use clothes to kind of boost my mood. So summer is like the perfect time to do that. And the Savannah dress is in this sheer blue gingham. It is so floaty. It kind of feels like you're wearing this in a beautiful cloud. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love this next look. The color of this dress is stunning. Tell me about this look. So this is my favorite. This is the Mallory dress, and it is actually a stretch t-shirt jersey dress. And we're known for our prints. We hand paint all of our prints in our studio, or we work with artists that really inspire us. But this print I actually painted when I was nine months pregnant on my bedroom floor last summer during the pandemic. So it's super kind of wild and fun and colorful because I think I was just trying to like bring some of that energy to um, my life at that time. So this is, it's kind of a placement print. Um, it's so awesome. It comes in size extra small through three X. Okay. Love to see it all the way up to a three X. So next is the, uh, <laughs> the Serena dress. So tell me about this look. So this is a print that has a really special story. Um, our senior designer on our team decided on the rooftop of his apartment in Brooklyn to start melting ice cubes that had pigment dye on them. So it kind of created this like bleedy um, pigment splash effect. And we started falling in love with this print and just putting it in silhouettes that again, felt really free, felt really kind of summer friendly. Um, this is a short cotton poplin dress. It can be belted. So you have a little bit more kind of waist definition or it can be worn like more of a baby doll shape, but just feels like a go-to shape that we always do really well with. Nice. Now, all of your designs, as you mentioned, come in sizes from XS to 3X, so they fit everybody. And this next look is intentionally oversized. So tell us about the Lily dress. So this dress is in a lighter cotton. It's in a wall. It's also in kind of a hand-painted print that I did. Um, the back is open, but I just think in summer, no one wants to feel like constricted or feel uncomfortable like you're really looking for breathable fabrics and shapes that feel you can run around and be really versatile so this is meant to be a little bit more 
baby doll shaped with a puff sleeve just to kind of give you that, you know, that flexibility and like make it feel like you can kind of run around and have fun in the summer. Yeah, you can go like pump gas in your car, go to on a picnic, jump on a swing. You can do it all, right? And that's how, that's what summer's about. So yeah, uh, and I think yeah. that oh, don't you always feel like it's the shoes that tell you how to wear a dress? And I think shoes that you can wear like flats, sneakers, or heels with are like go-to dresses that just make it sense in your closet these days. Tanya, thank you so much. Thank you. Have fun at the gala. You deserve this honor. Um, you're so lovely, and so are all of your clothing. So have fun. Thank you. And enjoy. And to everyone at home, uh, set a reminder in your calendar. The 7th Annual Canadian Arts and Fashion Awards are happening virtually tomorrow at 7 p.m. Visit cityline.tv for all of the viewing information.